Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low 339 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on the Rogue Platinum. When you're hurt in an accident, results matter. At Sweet James, our attorneys have participated in over 500 trials with a 98% winning record. We don't just win, we win the most. There are plenty of personal injury firms, but we are one of the very few that deliver results like these. When your life has been impacted by an injury, there's only one firm to call, Sweet James. Now at 4.30, a family left heartbroken and frustrated after a hit-and-run driver crashed into their home, nearly demolishing it. And it was all captured on nearby surveillance cameras in their San Bernardino neighborhood. Yeah, it turns out the car was stolen and the people inside it got away. NBC4's Tony Shin is live where it happened. Tony, you spoke with the homeowners. What are they telling you now? Yeah, that's exactly right, Annabelle and Carolyn. As you can imagine, they are simply devastated. Let me go ahead and show you why. Take a look behind me. You can see what is left of their home. They have lived in this home for more than 25 years. And when the driver and passengers ran away from the crash, neighbors say they heard them laughing. It's Sunday around 4 in the morning, and surveillance video shows a Kia speeding down Casa Loma Drive. <laughs> Seconds later, it crashes into a home at the end of the cul-de-sac. All of a sudden, there's a loud bang, and the house shook. Ethan Moore was in the back of the house he and his wife, Amy, bought in 1997. Oh, I was terrified because I was laying in bed and I heard the car coming. I knew it was going to hit the house and I didn't have time to go anywhere. So I rolled over against the wall and covered my head. The Kia crashed into their 19 year old son's bedroom and then burst into flames. Fortunately, their son was not injured, but all three had to run out the back door to safety. Once there is an explosion in the car, uh, it, it went up over the roof and all along here and we could see it in the backyard when it, it blew. Moments after the crash, video shows three people running from the car and down the street. Neighbors say they heard them laughing as they ran off. Uh, that's really insulting that they did this to us and then just left. San Bernardino County firefighters posted these pictures of them trying to save the home. But the damage had already been done. The Moors lost just about everything. My heart sunk. All I could think about was all the things that were going up in flames that I could never replace. Everything I had from my grandmother who passed away a few years ago, I had some of her belongings and they're gone. That's, I think, what I most have said about. And home videos, all of my home videos. San Bernardino police say the Kia was stolen. And right now they are still trying to identify the three people who ran from the burning car. The Moors have set up a GoFundMe to help them recover from this financial disaster. And Amy has some strong words for the driver and the two passengers. It, it does make me mad that they ran off and didn't take responsibility. I mean, it seems like a coward's way out to me. Now, investigators are hoping witnesses will come forward to help them identify the driver and his two passengers. If you have any information about this case, please call the San Bernardino Police Department. Reporting live in San Bernardino, I'm Tony Shin, NBC4 News. Tony, thank you very much for that update. Now to the latest in the Israel-Hamas war in the Middle East. The search continues for at least 1,000 bodies buried beneath mounds of rubble in the southern Gaza Strip. Crews are searching for anyone who was injured and moving them to hospitals. This as Israel intensifies its strikes on Gaza. NBC4's Karma Dickerson is live in Gardena Grove, where she spoke to members of the Palestinian community there for their perspective on the war. Karma. Yes, we're coming to you from Little Arabia. We spent some time here really just wanting to hear from people about what was on their hearts and what was on their minds surrounding this conflict overseas. We ended up in Garden Grove here at this falafel shop just over my shoulder. And it's a place that is owned by people who are Americans, but they also call Palestine home. As retaliatory rocket fire rains down...